The question of who owns this park is a profound one. But I was also thankful to think about who owns the moon and who owns the air. In our work in the cabinet environment, energy, and open space, we actually lean into these questions on a pretty regular basis. Sometimes in ways that feel a little bit technical, but I'm really grateful to be here in the space right now. Quite frankly, the truth is that I come from a lineage of people who started their journey in this country with people believing that they could own them. Believing that we were nothing more than laborers, a means to an end. And I am having a moment because we are approaching my paternal grandmother's birthday where I remember the fact that this land many, many years ago was a literal common where people were literally bringing um, their cows to graze. And in that time, there were people that looked like me who were not able to be here. They did not have equal access to this common. They were not considered full residents and citizens of this place. And yet we were here. And so I believe that in this moment, where we are still in, although hopefully maybe emerging from <laughs> this pandemic, in a moment where we've been reckoning with questions of who our nation is and who our nation should be, and in a time where the very balance of Mother Earth is at risk, where she is calling us to change from a way of being that is threatening our survival to something that is far more sustainable. We need to ask these questions not simply because we're looking for something to do in the park, but because we as a human species need to reevaluate our ideas of ownership, our ideas of partnership, and the space we create for everyone to be in this land in a way that it will remain for 50 more years, and 50 after that, and 50 beyond. So I'm really grateful to be here, because I think one of the challenges in our society is maybe, just maybe, we take too many of our days going about our daily lives and not asking the profound questions about what it all means and who we need to be. And that question is not one for just us as individuals, but we, we together, will decide our common future. And I'm so thankful for this project that pushes us to ask the questions that are at the heart of human existence. I hope that people won't just ask them of themselves, but they might just find the courage to have a conversation with somebody else on the park bench, see what they think, or some of the young people that are moving through the space, or maybe take the question home and talk about it over dinner. These are powerful and important conversations that we need to have now more than ever. And so I'm really thankful to be here. And I look forward because now I think I'm going to ride the train an extra stop. Usually I get off at Downtown Crossing and walk to City Hall, but I'm going to commit to get off at Park Street a few times and come over and ask these questions of myself before I go about my daily business. So I hope you all will join me as we all lean into these very important conversations.